Hi kindergartners, it's story time again. Today I'm going to read you two more elephant and piggy stories and then tomorrow we'll start some other characters from Mo Willems. Um, today when we're reading I want you to think about why Mo Willems decided to write these stories. Think about his purpose. Sometimes authors write stories to teach us something, like maybe they want to teach us about sharks or volcanoes or hurricanes. So they write facts that teach us something new about those things. Other times, authors write to teach us a lesson about life. In Little Red Riding Hood, the author wants to teach us to listen to our mom and follow directions. Sometimes, authors teach, or write just to entertain us. They want to make us laugh. Sometimes they want to make us feel something really deeply sad, happy, excited. So I'm going to read these Mo Willem books, and I want you to think about why he's writing these. What is his purpose? The first story I'm going to read is called, Let's Go for a Drive. Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. That sounds fun. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Wait, if we are going on a drive, we need a plan. A plan? First, we need a map. I have a map. Get that map! Zip. You cannot go for a drive without a map. I have the map. Zap. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Map, map, mappy map, map. Where? It might be sunny while we drive. We need sunglasses. I have sunglasses. Get those sunglasses. Zip. Bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. I have the sunglasses. Zip. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunny sunglasses. Wait! It might rain while we are driving. We need umbrellas. I have umbrellas. Get those umbrellas! Make a plan and stick to it is what I say. I have the umbrellas. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Umbrellas, umbrellas, umbrella, umbrellas. Wait! We have so much stuff to pack. We need bags. I have bags. Get those bags! You cannot go wrong with a good plan. Oof! I have the bags. Drive, 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 drive. Bags, bags, baggy bag, bags. Wait! There will be a lot of driving on our drive. We need a car. I said we need a car. Um, do you have a car, Piggy? No, I'm a pig. A pig with a car would be silly. Do you have a car? I do not have a car. Oh no, we have everything we need for our drive. Except a car. Our plans are ruined. What are we gonna do now? We could play pirate. Who needs plans when you have a pig for a pal? Arg! Look carefully for that pigeon. Here he is, right there. All right, I can't read just one. This Elephant and Piggy book is my favorite Elephant and Piggy book. It's called We Are in a Book. Thank 
you. Piggy. Yes, Gerald? I think someone is looking at us. Someone is looking at us. Who is looking at us? A, a monster? No, it is a reader. A reader is reading us. How is a reader reading us? The reader is reading these word bubbles. We are in a book. Here in a book? That is so cool! We are in a book, we are in a book, we are being read, we are being read. Oh, I have a good idea. I can make the reader say a word. You can make the reader say a word? I can, if the reader reads out loud. That is a good idea. That is a funny idea. <laughs> Here I go. <clears throat> Banana. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> the reader said, <laughs> Banana. <laughs> oh, the reader said it again. So funny. Do you want to turn before the book ends? Ends? The book ends? Yes, all books end. When will the book end? I will look. Page 57. Page 57? It is page 46 now. Eek! Now it is page 47. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. More words, more jokes, more bananas. I just want to be read. I have a good idea. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That is a good idea. Hello, will you please read us again? I hope this works. Me too. There's that pigeon again. All right, I hope you liked those elephant and piggy books. Now, what I'd love for you to do is a little bit of writing. So just like when we wrote our opinions, I want you to write about why you think Mo Willems decided to write these stories. What was his purpose? Did he want to teach us? Did he want to entertain us? Your story should go something like this. I think Mo Willems wrote Elephant and Piggy because, and then tell me why you think he wrote it. Give some examples from the book. If you think he wrote it to entertain us, maybe talk about some funny parts in the story. I hope you enjoyed the stories. And if you want to do more with Mo Willems, you can search on YouTube, Lunch Doodles, and it will show you some videos that Mo Willems has done himself where he teaches you to draw characters. He takes you right into his studio and shows you all about how to be an author, an illustrator, and an animator. See you soon. Bye.